With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So we have a collision theory given right here and uh, we have few values like uh, average speed and then we have lots of theories given here, right? But our actual question, the actual question starts from here. The actual question is saying that three ideal gas samples uh, in separate equal, equal volume containers are taken and following data is given, right? So we have uh, give data given. Now, uh, gas A is having pressure 1 atm, temperature 600 Kelvin and mean free path is 0 0.16 nm. Uh, which is having molar weight 20 and similarly we have gases of B, gas A of C. So we have to calculate ratio of collision frequencies uh, for A is to B is to C for the three gases, right? So let us start with the question. So starting, let us assume that uh, uh, let sigma A, sigma B and sigma C be collision diameter B collision diameter of a b and c right therefore we have a formula for lambda which is equals to kt upon under root of 2 pi uh, sigma square p right uh, so from here if let us say that um, from here we can say that uh, sigma is directly proportional to under root of t upon lambda p right t upon lambda p uh, therefore uh, therefore sigma a ratio sigma b ratio sigma c we can write for this equation we can write is under root of the value of temperature given in the question for A which is 1600 divided by the value of lambda 0 0.16 into pressure 1. The ratio again under root of temperature which is for B is 200 divided by 0 0.16 into 2. Similarly writing for gas C this will be 400 the temperature divided by lambda which is 0 0.04 into 4 right pressure 4 atm so if we calculate from this this comes out to be 4 ratio 1 ratio 2 right from here the ratio of uh, collision frequencies right so that we need to do is the ratio of collision frequencies that is Z11 is directly proportional to lambda square pressure square sorry uh, sigma square p square under root of m t power 3 upon 2 right so therefore we have a ratio A ratio B ratio C. So now from this relation, which will this will be equals to 16 into 1 divided by under root of 20 under root of 20 into 1600 to the power 3 upon 2. Right? Ratio we can write again 1 into 4 divided by under root of 40 into 200 power 3 by 2 right we are applying this the values to the formula and for c we can write this as 4 into 16 divided by we have with the value is under root 80 into 400 to the power 3 by 2 right so this is uh, our uh, statement if we simplify this we have the value is 1 4 ratio 
six sorry sixteen so from here the correct option that we have is option c thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today